The answer is this would be an attacker who has limited computational power, but does have active capabilities. Since they control the network, they can modify messages going through that router. They could replay messages. They could act as a middle attacker. They have lots of things they can do other than just intercept and try to analyze intercepted messages. And for most of what we're going to do, we're going to assume this threat model. We're going to assume an attacker who does have limited computational power. That means we'll assume that encryption and hash functions work the way they're supposed to. Certainly, that's not always true, that they could have weaknesses that an attacker could exploit. But when we design protocols, we usually don't need to pick a particular encryption algorithm. We're going to assume that we have one that either is a symmetric or an asymmetric encryption function that has the properties it should have. And we're going to assume the attacker's active, that they can intercept messages, they can try to analyze what they hear, but they can also modify messages and replay messages and do anything they could do to disrupt the protocol by changing things on the network. So that's the main threat model that our protocols are designed to resist.